Okay, you guys, so today is January 10th, which is day 10 of weighing myself for 100 days. 496.2, which means I have 90 days to lose 41.6 more pounds because I do want to lose 50 in 100 days and we have 90 days left. So that is my goal for every single week. So let's see how I did today. So last week I weighed in at 520.0 and today I weighed in at 514.6. 496.2. So that is a 5.4 pound loss. By literally just stopping takeout. <laughs> what? So far, I feel like I'm doing okay. Obviously, like with weighing yourself daily, there's gonna be fluctuations. Not every day is perfect, and that definitely shows up on the scale. And when you have better days, that also shows up on the scale. So as long as like my average is going down then we are on the right track the storyline for me has run stale this is where i was like a year ago you know and it's just different and it's just weird and things just weren't how i expected them to be hello guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new my name is charlie please consider subbing before you exit this video i've been seeing more and more about amberlyn on my twitter feed especially when it comes to those instagram q and a's so i figured let me tap back in and also try something that I was originally going to start with, Chantel's content. So last month in December, Amberlynn claimed she'd no longer be watching reaction channels. I think she makes this claim like once a quarter and then finds her way back. I do recall recently Amber claiming she only watches one creator due to their kindness towards her. I'm assuming based on her recent community post from the 9th, that creator is Kicking Geese. I haven't watched Kicking Geese for some time. From what I remember, she was always extremely kind to Amber and always rooted for Amber. Now, during a recent live stream, Amberlynn popped up in chat where Narc Alert is a mod for Justine. There was a mixed reaction from the chat, but Justine didn't notice until after Narc Alert removed Amber from the chat. So this is my pages read tracker, like how many pages I read okay. in one day. Oh, this is so much so to these fill are out. the books that I want to read in 2023. Okay. And All then right. this is the first book I will, will be reading. So every single day I'm going to write All right. like... How, uh, what page I'm on, what's my thoughts. So she basically made her own journal for her own specific self. Wait, 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 wait. Is Amber actually in here? I totally missed it. Guys, so I was talking. <laughs> I totally missed it. Wait, what did she say? When? I'm scrolling my chat. I'm sorry, guys. But I also have to hurry up and finish this because my Whole Foods is coming, guys. So I don't, I can't scroll forever. Well, I'm sorry. I'm not seeing it. Hello, Amber. I'll, I'll look at it later. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta wrap this up. What okay. star rating would I give it? I thought it was hilarious seeing that it led to Amberlynn putting up a community post. There were some people in chat, including another mod who did want Amber removed. But based on Justine's reaction, she would have interacted with Amber. Wait, you timed her out, the narc alert? Aw, I hope she heard that. Maybe she'll be back. I lost. Amberlynn's community post wasn't that big of a deal. It's something I would describe as nice nasty, but that's typical for Amber. When I first read her community post, I didn't know who she was referring to as far as Justine's best friend blocking her. So when I sought out the live stream around the 45 minute mark, that's when Amber actually makes her appearance due to the chat's reaction. And one of the mods actually thanked narc alert for blocking her. At the time of the community post, I couldn't put my finger on what the history was between Amber and Narc Alert, and then I remembered the Instagram Q&A that she did a few days prior. A viewer asked, what's the most out of character thing you've ever done? Amberlynn responded, probably the whole sympathy bone thing. Shocked Feline just as much as it shocked me. I believe Amberlynn apologized for that sympathy bone comment, only she knows if it was genuine or not, but I don't believe it was out of character due to her past behavior. For example, leaving a nasty voicemail for her then partner's mother, right after they had surgery. I find it hard to believe she'd have more sympathy for a stranger online than she would for someone in her personal life, but who knows? And if that shocked Feline, then she must not remember the time Amberlynn actually addressed that voicemail on her channel, seeing that Feline did start out as a viewer. Also on the 9th, Amberlynn had a very strong response to a question during her never-ending Instagram Q&As. Prior to this viewer asking this, someone did bring up Amber possibly going back on Ozempic, but she did respond making it clear that there is a shortage for a lot of people who do need it outside of, you know, the weight loss factor, so she wouldn't be seeking it out. I'm paraphrasing, but I actually agreed with 
what she was saying because I have seen a lot floating around about the current shortage with Ozempic, seeing that a lot of people are actually using it for weight loss now. So the follow-up question from a viewer was, are there alternatives to Ozempic? I know there's a shortage, but you're dying. It seemed to help. You might think you're helping me, but I need people to know I am going to block anyone who speaks to me like this. You're dying. Not only are we all dying, but I know that I have a massively higher chance of dying younger than the average based on my weight. Telling me sh like this is pointless because I already know. It's like telling someone one plus one equals two. I know, trust me. I know more than anyone else. Plus I think it's extremely rude and I don't have to explain why. Can that be considered rude? Sure. But where was the lie? And as of recently, as I mentioned in one of my last reactions to her, there seemed to be like an urgency when it comes to the new conversation around trying for weight loss surgery again. I thought there was a tone of urgency in her voice and delivery, but I also could have been reading into it a bit much. But in this post, she said it herself. She knows she's at a massively higher chance of dying younger than the average. So when I originally saw this posted on Twitter, I thought to myself, okay, maybe something's clicking since beating her diagnosis didn't seem to do that. Then I saw her thumbnail the following day. If the professionals in Amber's life say it's okay for her to have candy from time to time, I'm sure that's the advice she's going to follow. But nothing about that thumbnail says she knows she has a massively higher chance of dying younger than the average. It just looks like she placed the thumbnail there that would get viewers to click and possibly engage with her content in a negative way. And speaking of negative engagement, Amberlynn recently had a community post that I think was a call to action to her hate watchers. She wanted to address a rumor being spread about her improved like to dislike ratio. Who cares? Whoever is dedicated to not believing Amber based on all the lying she's done over the years won't believe the screenshot she posted anyways. I think she's telling the truth about the ratio improving, especially after the reception she had from Vlogmas, but I also think she addressed it knowing it would encourage more engagement from dedicated hate watchers. The thing is, the tools that some viewers use to try to gauge the thumbs up and the thumbs down, seeing that it's no longer visible, can be wildly inaccurate. She'll address dumb stuff that have very little impact on the perception her viewers have of her, then avoid or lie about much bigger topics. So I've been wanting to explore taking a look at present day versus a year ago with Chantel's content since so much is there. Some things have changed like her location and yet so much has remained the same, like her contradictions, bigotry, and the angry pinky when she's raging. And then I figured it's something I could compare with Amber's content as well. Let's compare Amber with Amber. So much can change in a year. Let's be real, so much can change in half a year when it comes to this corner of YouTube. Around this time last year, Amber was doing another round of 100 days of weighing in and it wasn't going so well. Okay, so let's start. Today is January 6th, which is day six of 100 days of weighing in. Here is my weight. So that means that I am 495.0, which is so exciting. That means from yesterday, I'm down another 2.2 pounds. I'm down pretty much 10 pounds in six days. How am I doing it? It's pretty simple. I am literally just eating less. I'm not binging. I'm trying to be more proactive in truly paying attention to like what I'm eating instead of just like robotically eating. Okay guys, so it is actually the end of the night on day seven. January 7th. Here's my weigh in here. So I did gain weight because I overate last night, hold on to a lot of sodium. And unfortunately, I also was not on track today. So tomorrow's weigh in, I'm a smidgel nervous for. So honestly, I am just here to be honest. Normally, I would just say, okay, I was off track. But the truth is, both days I overate on Chinese food. I was having a hankering. I haven't had Chinese food in a while. So when I got it, I kind of ordered a lot and I ate a lot. Chinese food has tons of sodium. So just the mixture of a lot of calories with the sodium is a no-no. So I'm definitely gonna weigh in tomorrow and have gained more weight, which is freaking unfortunate, but every day is a new day to start over. Um, so we're gonna get back on it tomorrow, fingers crossed. I know I got this. Okay, you guys. So it is the 8th, which is day 8 out of 100 of weighing in. So here it is. I lost a few ounces from yesterday. Currently in my closet, as you can tell. Hey, guys. Okay, so it is January 9th, which is ninth day of 100 days of weighing in. Here is my weight. So I've gained more weight. Um, I'm not doing the greatest. 
my eyes are super swollen right now because I mean it was worse so I've been doing my fair share of crying um going through a little something I'm hoping that I just start feeling better already today I know I'm not gonna be on track so <laughs> I don't know what tomorrow's weigh-in is gonna look like this video is kind of a flop Okay, you guys, so today is January 10th, which is day 10 of weighing myself for 100 days. 496.2, which means I have 90 days to lose 41.6 more pounds because I do want to lose 50 in 100 days, and we have 90 days left. So far, I feel like I'm doing okay. Obviously, like with weighing yourself daily, there's going to be fluctuations. Not every day is perfect, and that definitely shows up on the scale. And when you have better days, that also shows up on the scale. So... As long as like my average is going down, then we are on the right track. It's almost as if she has a choice to remove it completely as content and she just chooses not to. What was interesting, but yet typical when it comes to Amberlynn, is what she posted two days later. Amberlynn doing a Kit Kat taste test. Okay, so I figured in this video, we try a bunch of random flavored Kit Kats. You know, just an excuse to eat some candy because like, why the heck not? I'm just joking. I really just have been wanting to try the different flavored Kit Kats. As far as her most recent upload, she's excited about her current weight loss, which is a little over five pounds, which is pretty good. However, it's an 18 pound gain from where she was just a year ago. Amberlynn starts giving reasoning and excuses to why she won't be sticking to the goal she originally set to not order out for the month of January. Okay, now on to the actual weigh-in part of this. This week has gone really good. As you guys know, I wanted to do no takeout for the full January, but Feline and I have decided that we're gonna allow ourselves to have takeout every Sunday, which is weigh-in day. So after our weigh-in, we're gonna have one meal. It's not gonna be a binge fest, it's gonna be a normal meal. So we did do that today, and this is my first takeout of January. I'm totally fine with this decision because having one meal versus every single day is a big change. But she wouldn't have to give that weak reasoning if she just never mentioned it on her channel. I've mentioned this before. I think she should just set her goals and keep them private and possibly mention them once she's followed through for like a couple of months. So since I want to reach 399.8, that means I have to lose 120.2 pounds this year, which means I have to lose about 2.3 something, something, something pounds a week. She'd have more confidence going into it and not have another example of her not completing a goal she chose to present to our viewers. When it comes to her platform, nothing tops Amberlynn's dedication to documenting her stagnant and sometimes worsening progress in health. It's a new year though, and there does seem to be a slight urgency in her tone at the top of this year. But I guess it's not that unique when it comes to Amber's past. This could possibly be the year she ends up in a different outcome, but with a lot of her current actions looking the same, we'll see. A lot can change in a year. So maybe this time next year, the comparisons won't look so similar. But we all have choices, so we'll see what Amberlynn chooses to share, how she chooses to respond, and what she makes of this year. Thank you so much for watching or listening in. Let me know your thoughts down below and some of your predictions that you have for Amberlynn in the year of 2023. Later, guys. I got blessings falling on me. I got weapons, Nino on me. Tetris, you don't know me. Is that my fatty? You don't know me. Okay, hey now, it's a new kid on the playground. So many bags on me, you would have thought I was a spray ground. Now they know I don't play around. I can hear what you're saying now. I just doubled up my flight miles. Coast to coast, no, they ain't in town. I get rich, watch, then I get a sick watch. Watch me hit the top, I might make a tick tock. Left hand, right hand. Catch the latest trend, I might double up my network. I've been going up now, see the